Okay, I'm going to show you quickly how I set up in Simplify 3D for my Wombot XL printer. So we start by opening Simplify 3D here. Uh, as you'll see, there's already one set up, but um, assuming you haven't got a Wombot, we go to Help, uh, Configuration Assistant. Now here we introduced to it, yeah, okay, select printer, go all the way down to the bottom and select other. Next, now I'm going to call this one uh, Wombot Test. I already have one set up for Wombot, so we'll just call this one Test. Uh, now the build volume of the standard Wombot is 200 by 200 by 330. I have the XL version, so it's 250 by 250 by 330. Standard nozzle diameter is 0.4 I believe with one extruder and tick that it has a heated bed. Next, that's it done. Now to use your Wombot, um, I've got a test cube here, just a standard test cube. Let's assume you were printing with your Flashforge Dreamer, which I have there that's what it would have looked like. So it's a fairly small build area. Uh, we go into processes and down the bottom you'll see Wombot test. Um, select that, it will then select the right build area. Uh, you may have to just center the item in your build area to make sure it's right. Um, and that's basically it. Uh, then you can add more items, um, go through your process settings to see if you want anything in terms of retraction, layer. Uh, I usually find that with the Dreamer, the multiplier about 0.95 for ABS, uh, for PLA, and about 1.02 for uh, ABS. Um, but this is the sort of thing, once my um, Wombot is actually up and running, I'll be able to test and work out what works for me. Same as the extrusion width and nozzle diameter. Uh, then go through all your standard settings as you would for any other setting or any other printer um, to tune it for your setup. Um, you'll notice that it does actually have a heated bed now and extruder one temperatures, again, change them. Um, the only thing I've got to work out now too is the script so that when it finishes, um, that it actually moves the head away from the item and maybe drops the, it doesn't drop the bed, it actually raises the head a few millimetres away uh, to avoid any, any dribble or whatever and then turns off the, um, the, the because it just, videos show that it just turns off uh, and leaves it at the last position above the actual item so the head would tend to stick, the nozzle would tend to stick to your item. Again, that's just playing around with scripts um, that's it. That's all I do to set it up. Um, I've had mine, I've got my Wombot there, uh, yes, uh, set up. Um, I've been playing with it, but because of uh, some minor damage, um, I can't actually do any printing at the moment. Hopefully that'll be repaired by the end of the week. And uh, I'll start to do some videos of it um, actually doing some printing.